Roman Molina. Odds are you've heard of his name in the last 24 hours. If you're not aware of French football or French journalism, then you probably don't know that he existed until last night. And a lot has happened in the last 24 hours. A lot of, and I mean a lot. I mean, we're speaking of like, 25 different scandals that's happened and has been a sport. I'm going to be presenting what's been happening and it is really based on you on if you believe it or not. I'll give my own opinion, but I'm stating what he has said in a video that you guys can go and easily watch to just truly understand what's really happened. It saddens me. It really does just to even think about this and from what he insinuated that it's not just French football. But basically the entire world of football at a global level or even semi-pro level is completely in the mud. Women's football as well. So I'm going to go break down what has been said inside of this call and hope you guys have enjoy and tell me your thoughts down below in the comments. And let's go. This is Roman Molina. And last night, for whatever reason, he just said that comments in a few minutes. And then he set up a Twitter space, basically like a host your own podcast, for example, that you can go and host it on Twitter. People can listen in. Of course, the entirety of this call is in French, has been translated to English. And that is what we've got. In today's video, I have got a French a um, friend of mine would be in a call that was inside this space that translated a lot of what has come out and I'd be having him to give his insight and to give his reasons of why because he was there I couldn't understand what was being said so he knows much more of the ins and outs it's all over Twitter it's all over everywhere conveniently not on um, French media um, from what I figured that it's not really been publicized I must say as some sort of trigger warning that basically a lot of things in this isn't just criminal but sexual that can be resulting to sexual abuse and RAPED. I can't actually say the word otherwise this video will be demonetized. This is involving Benjamin Mendy, Fuller Mendy, a lot of different footballers, a lot of different countries and let's get stuck in. Let's go. All right, lads. So we're currently on a call with um, the man which kind of took Twitter by storm by translating a lot of this madness. Um, I feel like for a video with this kind of um, seriousness, I feel like I need an actual person which understands French culture, is French himself, that was there in front of the entirety of the spaces and really to kind of you know validify a lot of the nonsense that's been said here so um on a disco call i've got infinity which is actually is a guy which like, i've not dragged randomly he's been a, a viewer of mine for many years and i'm a, a twitch mod for a sample he's a, a a big guy in my community anyway and um to find that he's been involved in this is kind of mad so um infinity pal um let's get you on hello everyone y your name is arnold by the way so his na first name's Arnold. Yeah. you speak good english as well as you actually are like you're french you have been, been in France for many, most of your life, right? Yeah, I've been in France for most of my life for like 10 years. But before I used to live in, in London, in England, and I was born over there. With the situation, um, I guess it's how were you brought into it? Why were you translating all this? I was basically translating all of this online because um, I, I sent a few tweets like stating how mad like the space is, is actually going. And this thing that he, that Molina was saying in it. So all I did is just um, like tweet some stuff. And my timeline, because most of them were English, they didn't understand what was said in the space. So they asked me to try and translate pretty much everything that was said in the space and do like a thread. What is, as a French person, what's your knowledge of um, uh, Molina? Because I feel like most people don't even know who he is and why is he... Like, why? Why does this guy ha know all this information? Why do we not know that he's just talking complete nonsense? And I guess, you know, with all the um, the massive accounts, you know, Marseille and all the footballers and celebs that was involved, you know, they, they, it seems like he's got some sort of you know, recognition to him. So for some people that don't know, who is this guy? So Molina is basically like a journalist slash writer. And... And he does a lot of like writing for The Guardian, CNN, BBC, The New York Times, and, and all these types of big, um, big uh, newspapers. And basically, um, he was very well known before, before all this happened. Reliability with uh, most of the information that he had. 
So when he created this space and that he was about to talk about all this madness, it attracted so many people because he's literally one of the most reliable people in France. I, I guess the main thing is like, he's this person with all this rep reputation. Why is he come out and said all this? In my opinion, he came out to say all of this, mainly for the sake of saying all of this, because uh, I can't really see a reason why he would force himself to do this. Because he didn't really, he wasn't really in the need of doing it. But it's just because he was very fed up of of people just not talking about it. And, and the allegations were so mad that he felt like it was like the the best moment to talk about it. And as well, he for, for posting this, he has to be confident enough that, insane confidence to say it. He's not scared at all about exposing all this stuff even though it may be like one of the maddest informations that football has, has, has ever seen. I'm just going to go through some of the madness that has been said in this and you're the person that was translating this and I, I'm not saying that you've said anything wrong here because I imagine that most people, you've had no one that's saying that this is like fake. You, know, you, you understand French so when someone says something in French it's not that like you can um translate that in a different way correct yeah correct i all i did is translate but i trans i tried to translate in the most clear clearest way possible i'm just gonna start just throwing things out there that um i've got from your translations and also from others it's not just you but this is from what i've got from you he said that current french international has made a party and he had a fetish to shit in people's mouth that's a good one to yeah. start off with. That's a great. That's a great one. Who doesn't? <laughs> Who doesn't? I can't imagine hearing that. I'm thinking that that like, that alone should be like the news. That should be like the main point. But there's so mu there's so much that there's like it's almost unbelievable. There was a country in Africa that had their women's team with some men playing in a squad. Got the the main thread here. So the the biggest news is the fact that um, the further Mendy news that's the the biggest thing that most people grab from this is the fact that apparently he booted a woman in the face many times and then showed his penis to her that and that woman got brain damage from the booting I, 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 this is the thing all this sounds so mad that i genuinely don't believe the fact that this has all been covered up most have been people inside the call that he, that was you know questioning him yeah there were there were people like questioning him at, at something that were like the maddest things because Ferland Mendy, we already heard about a little bit about him just with some stuff, but they were questioning him, asking like, H how do you know this? Or like, how did you get all this information just that is pretty mad? And what, and what did he say of how he knew this information? Like, why does he know it? Does it mean other people know it as well, but they just aren't saying anything? Like, why does he know it, but it seems like no one else does or just doesn't want to say? Like, what do you I, have to I, lose to confirm the news? Like, if this has happened, then I don't know what they got to lose, if that's the truth. That they can't prove it? so mad that sometimes you, you just can't prove it, but in this space, it, he said that there were a lot of people, but that there were people that knew about this, but that didn't actually have, like, pretty, like, the confidence or, as we can say, like, the balls to literally spread that information out. Uh, how, how do you say his name? Eli Wahi? Eli Wahi. Eli Wahi. Um, got banned from the Cayenne Academy for obliging secondary school students to uh, masturbate in front of him in the toilets. I, yeah. I, I mean, that's just... I just... It was said that Eli Wahi from Montpellier was banned from the Car Academy for fighting with a, with a bodyguard. And... And it wasn't the case. I'm a bit surprised of why he's saying all these names, but this one is, seems to be just some guy. Some guy has RAPED, 400 um, football players, and a few of the players are now international level players when they were kids, um, which you can read on the screen right now, which is yeah. absolutely um, just devastating. But I, I, yeah. did he say why he just said some guy? Does he not know who it is, or is he hiding his name? I don't think he know who he, who he is, who 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 did that, but he got that information of the 
of the person that so he got that information from someone else girl that is a young international footballer that's appeared and apparently the reason is a guy bought him off his family to do some weird stuff on her and they forced her to abort um is this french football or is this any they do not specify my reading on the spreadsheet, it was a party from a Ligue 1 team. Academy on, in RDC Congo is run by pedophiles, which is, I mean, okay, great. Um, this is a really out there one. When when all this is about French football or people involved in French football, all these French speaking countries, there's um, this Megan Rapinoe um, quote seemed very just kind of out there. Megan Rapinoe was more interested in money than to defend young girls getting R-A-P-E-D. By the way, I can't actually say the, say the word. Otherwise, YouTube will demonetize this video. So Yeah, it's yeah. understandable. Yeah, that happened for the, for the Mendy video. Um, yeah, well, he was there in the space. What was it? Why did he bring this up? They seemed kind of random. Well, he, he brought this up because he was talking about what happened in France. And then he started talking about what happened a bit around the world. And then it just came from from nowhere he just switched from like france and then he switched like america and just said that rapino was more interested in, in the money than to defend young girls that were getting so ben many did um unimaginable stuff man city are now more reluctant to sign french players now and will now investigate on their private life beforehand next up is apparently some clubs and agents pay transfermarket.com to pimp their players data more bullet points um, a player pranking another one by introducing him to a minor without him knowing and having him sleep with her um the shams injured a player on purpose sexual abuse yeah, cases in football um do you know who that player was with the shams it was during the world cup in 2018 and i think it was maybe umtiti because he was the only one in the france in the france squad that was having constant um, knee injuries. injuries and just uh, and just it pretty much now ruined his career I, there's so much stuff here which i'm thinking is this like a different thing or it's just the same thing because there's so much stuff that is actually crazy apparently some Serie d players have been sold for 20 million without us even knowing anything about it is that on about them like what is that money laundering like what, what does that mean yeah money money laundering yeah from from what i've heard in in, in his space an international course was caught red-handed for having r-a-p-e-d two 13 year old girls in full competition Oh, yeah, bloody, yeah. that is that is horrible and to come back with the stuff before yeah i saw this argument where it's like he needs to very to verify the stuff to be a hundred percent true so he doesn't get sued he's probably 99.9 percent .9 sure uh the other 90 percent is true but when you're a journalist you don't play the odd games i imagine i imagine a lot of this that's what he's already said will already be getting caught up in some sort of, in a lot of legal, like there's so many legal lawsuits that's going to be going his way, um, yeah. even, if, even if it's true, like even just for the sake of just trying to, for, like, for the likes of Ferlin Mendy, you know, for example, there's absolutely no way that he could get out of this and like, without fighting it. Arsenal players inhaling healing balloons, um, doing a lot of healing balloons, PSG players used to bring seat shirt in at, at away games. That's kind of interesting. In Djibouti, yeah. someone in his office, instead of working on football, he goes on porn sites and some of the big personalities in, in Djibouti and football said to their workers to go and meet some prostitutes instead of working. Africa sounds mad. Uh, match fixing, basically in South America, Central America, Eastern Europe, Southern Ireland. Like, there's so much that I kind of just want to, like, kind of finish off this kind of stuff because we could be here forever, but basically... Yeah. Um, as a French person, like your, your tweet is saying, someone from French Federation said that he doesn't care about football, but the most important part is sex, money, and power. As a actual, you know, there's always some sort of controversy in, in French football. There always is something going on. You know, if it was um, yeah. that weird Saliba video like a couple of months back, something just weird oh, like yeah. that, and then ben, Benjamin Mendy recent times, and then there's all this coming out. It's like. And there's yeah. always been, I think, like, the 2010 World uh, Cup, there was, like, some absolute madness going on there. There's always been something. So, like, yeah. what's happening? Like, as an actual French, you know, person, what's your opinion on all this, really? My honest opinion is that it doesn't really give a great image to our league. Like, for example, I can mention that 
uh, the football club Angers, there were in the same club, there was one guy that that got that that was uh, arrested for partly jacking off in front of his neighbor's student uh, in front of his neighbor's window, and literally two weeks later, the president did pretty much the the same thing. No, he he was accused of nonsery in Angers. Like the two in two weeks, there, the these two stories were out. Even recently, there's Cedi, a player called Cedisar from Nîmes, that appar- that apparently well, that apparently a seventeen year old. It often happens, and for me to see that this kind of of stuff just happens regularly or that in france there's always like something mad going on it doesn't really give a good image of of us of our league in uh, the french media right now is this being publicized like or is this uh, being kind not, of, like not put on the carpet it hasn't it hasn't yet i search on every like on every like newspaper on on the internet or even uh, uh, on on the telly just trying to watch french tv to see if it's if it's mentioned and for now it's actually not mentioned are you mad but you're I... telling me this this to this level has not been yeah um that it hasn't seems been mentioned so dodgy that the, 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 i mean if this is true it does seem like they're in on it i appreciate your time to um to speak and to kind of give us a bit of an insight of what's been going on because I wasn't there in a space call you were so like I can't yeah. really say as absolute confidence of what was said and what was being said and why did you believe everything that he said right if I tweeted all this story that I actually believe him because he's literally one of the most reliable French like journalist slash, slash writer in in France so everything that he has, has said like must be true and especially that you have to have the confidence to actually say it i, I like this um point where he said this in french but um, in translate it says um this is my penultimate live this evening during my last live the fff the french football federation will fuck themselves everyone will jump i know what i'm doing so oh yeah i like that that kind of um it's fighting talk honestly i i think yeah. in um in football anyway this is the biggest like almost like scandal at a stage that they will be and um yeah like yeah just do think about what else there could be could be absolutely just just maddening so um yeah. I, appre- I appreciate your time for coming on um i'll leave his link um to for arnold down below in the description and yeah he's a good lad and, uh, and thank you for your time pal yeah you're welcome it was a great it was a, an honor to be in this video thank you pal Enjoy your night. Enjoy your night. Thank you. Bye. There you go, boys. Take this information as you will. There's also a lot more, which um, I could also go through, but there's so much that uh, I could go in depth with that it would just be, uh, the video would be just too long. You can look up online on all the information that you want, but basically, this is a problem that with football and footballers, when you're having such young, um, you know, people that's been given a, you know, fame and money that to have a situation like this is it's only bound to happen and there's a lot of things that I'm sure that we don't know. I'm sure there's so much more that we don't we do not know and there'll be a lot more that's happening. Um and not a lot more that will be said in, in, in the next couple of days. You may um, not believe this, you may believe this, it's your it's your own choice. Um I believe in a good majority of what's been said, even the crazy ones, um the further mended, the Benjamin Mendy stuff um we're gonna see a lot more of what's to come in the next couple of days i imagine that a lot of it will be kept behind closed doors or they'll try to but um, this is just a video about this situation in the simplest way i possibly can give it so tell me your thoughts and it's a problem um not just with football but um with just society in general with the elite and what they can get away with and the fact that this has been kept quiet for so long it's just uh it's just saddening really so i'll see you guys next time for another video and stay safe i'll see you soon bye